now when we're buffing, um, we need to sometimes pay attention to surfaces. <coughs> As an example, we've got these two edges here. <coughs> we've always got to protect the edge. So, see as an example, we're doing the trunk lid. We should, I would tape this off to protect this edge. <coughs> the reason being, when we're buffing, with these, I always have the buffer going off. So if I'm tilting it this way, going off, off the edge. We're tape this one off to protect it, and we're not wearing on this one because we're going off. Does that make perfect sense to everybody? Yeah. Now, now, how do you polish the rest of it there? You're going to get to that. That's oh, yes, yes. Okay. The reason I have this is from time to time, it's just to take and... What a good idea. I've always used like little spurs. Because even though this car has been played, there's still the possibility you will, when you're polishing, pull another little piece of dirt out. So, and sometimes, if you're watching what you're doing, you can actually see when you picked one up and it's starting to cut new grooves. You can yeah. stop instantly. And not only clean the tool, but take a clean microfiber, clean the surface, pull that off, and then we're good to go again. So, addressing your question about and dealing with this afterwards, then we do just do the opposite. Then we tape off the trunk. And then just do that edge. Yeah, and we try to go off that edge. Okay. Yes, it, it is a lot more difficult in the fact that this is a fairly large buff and we've got this area here. But I'm going to try to go off that edge. Like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Start because this is a fresh clean buff. Splatter. Yeah. Never splatter. <laughs> Never splatter. <clears throat> you want to pick up in this area here. So you have to aim for it. So the moment I pull the trigger. I'm on low speed. And never splat. And then so, I always try to not ever ever drag the cord across the paint. Reason being is two things. This is black rubber. It's gonna leave that. Also, it's a turn our carrier for dirt. So We're running out at low speed and applying light pressure? <clears throat> Just a light pressure. Okay. What, uh, what kind of compound are you? Is it a fairly, fairly fine one? Or is it uh, this is actually, it's a Meguiar's 105. It's considered very aggressive. Very aggressive. You need to pay attention because this is a fresh buff. See, I've got dry spots already. <laughs> we usually try to work on an area of approximately four square feet at a time. The reason for that is that your polish will dry out too fast. You can try to work on an area larger than that.
see the shine is really coming up. Oh, it's yeah. pulling it out, especially from there. <laughs> Pardon me? Oh, right. Definitely a dry cloth. But nice. notice at the same time, we've still got this world. a very large amount of scratches in this car yet. Right. So we have to work it more. This is probably the original thing. It, it is the original thing, yes. Yeah. So it should have a fair bit of depth. All depending on how much it looks like. That's right, how much it could remove. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is a complex car to do with all these curves. And you just keep, you know, even just keep watching, keep watching, and the scratches will lessen and lessen as you go. So you lock that on just one slow speed. You, 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 well, you've got a variable speed that you pick something you're comfortable we'll, with. This goes as low as 600 RPM and as high as 3000. Okay. For learning purposes, slow we'll stay on number one. Yeah. <laughs> um, the more speed, the more heat. Right now. now, this is enamel paint. It can take an incredible amount of heat. But <clears throat> most of the newer paints are a plastic based paint. You heat up, they get soft. And if you get it too hot, you burn paint and here's this. It's a tragedy. Now, got this ball over here as well. You're taping the whole thing. Yep. And I should mention of your cutting up pads, polishing pads, wool is by far the most aggressive. And there's also different stages of wool you can buy, but commonly just a common white wool is probably the easiest thing to deal with instead of going to all the different grades of wool. And then in your foam pads, there's dozens and dozens of different cutting amounts that each one will do. Some will cut more and some will cut zero, all depending on who makes them. But generally speaking, this black pad is a completely non-abrasive pad and it's for final polish. But this is just a, a light cutting pad is what this one is. And this is quite a bit different. So you use the same compound On this application, yes. This too is a variable speed. So. Now this cuts much slower. And this is so much more forgiving. <clears throat> this will work really nice in all the tight corners, all the edges, or <clears throat> paint that you want to very carefully preserve because you can watch this work so much easier. <clears throat> you can tell exactly when you hit the right spot and you're done. But it's a little bit more hard to handle because it, uh, it was a vibrates. Going in it's a random orbit, yes. Random orbit, okay. So, go ahead and try sure. it. Okay.